Hello Capricorn, how are you? I hope this finds you well. So we are going to be doing your person on your mind reading, whoever you're thinking about, that is who this reading is intended for. And everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling your personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And we are inviting your angel, spirit guides, and ancestors to come in and assist us with this reading today. All right, let's take a look and see what we have going on for you guys. There are feelings towards you, Capricorn. We have the Knight of Wands. Somebody's feeling a very strong desire for you. Okay, a lot of desire, a lot of attraction, a lot of pull towards you. Somebody could be feeling like they want something to move forward or they want to move towards you quickly. Their intention, we have the emperor. A lot of fire energy. Like I said, somebody feels a very strong desire and I feel like they want for you and they want to know if you feel the same way about them. Okay. To me, the emperor, especially when it comes up in this kind of situation, kind of feels like wanting to get something under control, like wanting to know where they stand with you, wanting to know where this is going moving forward. So it's like, I'm into you. I want this. Do you? You know, that's what it feels like. We have the nine of swords here for the potent or for the their next action. So we're going to need to take a look at this and see how we get there. Your energy. We have the queen of pentacles. The challenge between the two of you is a strength card. And potential outcome, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Six of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So I'll be honest, I do feel like this is a past person, Capricorn. Okay? Some of you guys, you got lots of fire energy here. You also have Gemini energy. So you have Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, Virgo. Gemini, Capricorn, and Scorpio. Those are the signs I'm seeing, but it could be any. I'm going to spend a lot of time thinking about you, thinking about the past, thinking about whatever's happened here between the two of you. And I feel like even though they want their intention is to like find a way to get you back and see how things can move forward, you know, they want to know like well, how do you how do you feel about me? Is there is there still a chance? Is there any hope for us? I feel like it's hard for them to take that action. And you can see that here because the challenge is the strength card, you know, finding that courage. You know, I feel like they're holding back right now and just kind of getting lost in the in the memories and getting lost in the would have, could have, should have. I do feel like somebody has been working on themselves. I feel like both of you have, to be honest with you, Capricorn. Maybe you more than them, but I feel like at least somebody's beginning to. We'll put it like that, okay? Now, Capricorn, I feel like you're really focused. <laughs> Leave it to a Capricorn to be really focused on your money. You know, I feel like you're just handling your business, okay? The Queen of Pentacles, somebody who's really good at multitasking, really good at just handling their business, taking care of everything that needs to be taken care of, focusing on your home, focusing on your finances, your money, self-care, like you've just got it all under control right now. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles energy. You got the Ace of Wands. Some of you guys are ready for something new. Some of you guys are starting new things in your life already, whether this is love or work, business, new passions. Tell me about this Knight of Wands. You got the Four of Swords. So, someone's been doing a lot of thinking about you. A lot of thinking about you, Capricorn. I do feel like this is somebody that you guys have been out of communication with for a little while here. There does seem to be this energy of silence, separation. Tell me about the emperor. Clarified by the emperor. So the thing is, is I feel like this could be somebody who's kind of used to getting their way. Or maybe they just have in the past with you. And I feel like now they're kind of just at your mercy here. Because I know that because of whatever's happened in the past between the two of you, especially with these coming out next to each other, with the Six of Cups here and this Nine of Swords, 
they, they know that nobody will blame you if you didn't take them back, if you didn't give them another opportunity. They can't blame you if you don't. And I feel like they do kind of feel that, like that they are kind of at your mercy here. I think that's a very uh, uncomfortable place for them to be, and that's why they want to know. They just want to know, is there any hope at all? Is there a chance? Tell me about this Nine of Swords. Got the Nine of Wands, so two nines, a situation that needs to get wrapped up here. Someone knows that you're not going to trust them because of everything that you guys have been through together, everything that they have put you through as well. That Nine of Wands, it's somebody who's tired. It's somebody who's just really been through the ringer, but they're hoping that you haven't given up fully on them yet. Tell me about this Strength card. I feel like that's another reason why they haven't had the courage to move forward is because I think they're afraid that maybe you have given up on them or that you aren't going to take them back because of everything. So we got this page of cups. So that's what they're trying to find the courage to, is to reach out and tell you how they feel, reach out and apologize here. Got the eight of pentacles here with the six of pentacles. So, you know, I feel like they are ready to work on things here with you. The six of pentacles ready, if, especially if things were very unequal give and take in the past. And I do feel like that could be the case. Maybe you were the one that was giving and giving and giving and you just weren't getting that same energy back. I feel like that's something they're really focused on. They're really focused on giving to the connection, planting new seeds. I do feel like this person has, you know, done some reflecting and has done some changing. I um, may have multiple sixes here, and that does usually talk about a change, a transition. But that is what I have for you, Capricorn. I hope that this helps. If this resonates, let me know. If it doesn't, that's okay. Just check out your other placements. Everything that you need to know, whether it's about this reading or scheduling personal readings, all of that is in the description box below for you. And if you want personal prayers for any reason, you can just put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. But if this is where we part, thank you guys for being here and I will see you soon.